Aquarius. Welcome, Aquarius. Welcome back for those that are returning. Thank you all for being here. We're going to do a general. Ooh, that was interesting. Using the Cross of Truth today. There could be several messages in here for you, depending on what section resonates with you. That said, um, hmm. one second, I'm actually inspired to grab a different deck. Let's see what we've got going on. It's funny because I bought this deck because I really liked the artwork in it. It's quite beautiful. But let's see what your current energy is, Aquarius. Let's see what your, what's going on for you. And then we'll clarify. Keep in mind, yeah, yada, yada, yada. It may resonate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It may not. Blah, blah, blah. I'm sure you've heard it all before if you've watched any type of tarot. Ooh, and the first card out of the deck for you guys is Reconciliation. Wow. Wonder what this is about. Well, let's start. Nine of Coins, Four of Coins, Princess of Wands, and the Sun card. Well, with Reconciliation here, it seems like you've been going on your own for a bit. But this is a connection you don't really want to lose. With the Princess of Wands here, this is a, a card that is very unique to this deck. And this can talk to creativity. This can talk to a few different things. But as we look at this, the Princess of Wands talks about independence and fearlessness as well. So we can see that even though you may be, for some of you, you may be in a position of no contact at this point. Reconciliation is on your mind. But as you're working through sort of all of these things alone, we can see that the sun is here. So what I get from this is this is a time for you to figure things out and level up. This is you going through this stuff, becoming better, faster, stronger. The $6 million man for those that are <laughs> as old as I am. But let's look at the desire. The Two of Cups. Hello. Could this not be? So the desires, the Two of Cups, the Magician, the Seven of Coins, and the High Priestess. With this desire of the Two of Cups, you're trying to figure out how to manifest this with the Magician. The High Priestess, you may not be sure the roots to take on this. You're using your intuition uh, to bring this forward. Now, the outcome is the King of Cups. We have Judgment, Four of Wands, and the Queen of Coins. So with the King of Cups here, this is somebody that embodies all those emotions, has them under control, but something from the past could be coming back to affect this stability. There may be a major choice around this. And with the Queen of Coins here, there may be some give and take. This person may be coming back as this Queen of Coins, or this is you just standing in that sort of power. Now, with all of this, let's look at what is working for you. We have the Queen of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the Emperor. Now, looking at this, this Queen of Swords, this individual is very loyal. You can see with the dogs here that they represent loyalty. But at the same time, there is some cold-hearted truth that she's looking at. With the Ace of Swords, there's been some breakthroughs in understanding how this love or this love offer could come in. And the Emperor here is that ambition around that. Now let's look at what you need to be aware of. We have the Princess of Cups, Queen of Wands, 
Princess of Swords and the Hermit. Now the Princess of Cups. This is about forgiveness. This can also be about reconnecting. You may be reconnecting with this individual, but you need to look at the cold hard truths about what has gone on and not gloss over them, not use that fading bias that typically happens within a relationship where we forget the bad and just keep looking at the good and then magnifying it. And then we see the hermit. You really need to shed a light on how this was actually done. So what I want to do is pull three more cards around this. Ace of Wands. I think you have all the aces on the table. Ace of Wands, Five of Coins. And the Nine of Swords. This can be beginning anew with this individual, this reconnection. But what I see is that there is this fear. And it's a pretty strong fear of yours about getting left out again that this door is just going to shut. So you're operating heavily in the energy of loss, which is going to bring it out about again. Um, let's pull one more card. Closure. So with closure here, if you're into this energy of feeling like you're going to lose in this as you go forward in this reconnection, you may need to get the closure in order to move on. And if you're scared that this is going to happen, it's almost like you're walking on eggshells for such a long period of time that eventually it's just going to come around where you've had enough of it or that you're not engaged in it. You're going to be shut off and more self-protective um, in all of those types of emotions. You won't be fully into the connection but you won't fully be out of it. This may tend for you to be angry, um, short-tempered, those types of things, uh, and not giving, and then eventually it just sort of dissolves anyway. But that's what I have for you today, Aquarius. Best of luck this week. Feel free to give this a thumbs up or thumbs down, or leave me a comment in the section below. Remember to subscribe if you haven't done so already. We'll see you next time. Stay safe.